Hey guys, it's Extreme 3D, and uh, in this video I'm going to be reviewing some filament that I got in the mail today, and it's from Matter Hackers, and uh, they were kind enough to send me a spool, and uh, I'll have a link down below where you can buy this filament, and uh, also I'll have a link down below where you can buy my printer on their website. So uh, let's open this up. So sorry, uh, there's no unboxing audio. I have to do a uh, voiceover because I did change the video up a little bit, but that's fine. So uh, anyways, so let's open this up. Uh, there's very nice packaging. Uh, so let me just open up the box here. And uh, as you can see, the filament looks to be underneath some packing stuff and it looks very well packaged. And uh, there's a filament, as you can see, and this was Pro PLA. Uh, it's green filament, Pro PLA, and uh, this filament looks really cool. Uh, and uh, I'm going to show you some test prints in a minute, uh, but I'm going to just open this up for you guys. So it's sealed, uh, vacuum sealed in a plastic bag, it looks like. And uh, here I'm going to open it up for you guys. Uh, so far it looks pretty cool, it feels pretty cool. Um, the filament uh, wasn't too heavy, wasn't too light. Uh, the spool wasn't flimsy, it was nice solid. Um, it felt really, really uh, solid, uh, great build quality. And uh, yeah, so let me open this up for you guys. And uh, here I'm gonna show you a close up of the filament. As you can see, it's pretty glossy. And uh, it doesn't that doesn't affect the print quality whatsoever, but uh, you have really nice prints. and. Uh, I can't wait to show you some of the prints that I did with this, so I will show you guys that in a minute. Hey guys, so I'm back, uh, and I have some really cool prints for you guys uh, that I'm going to show you. Uh, this is just where I've been keeping all the test prints and stuff that I've been doing. So the first thing I have printed, of course, is a gear cube. I print this for every filament that I test, unless it's exotic, because that filament you can't really print a gear cube with. So it works, of course, um, and uh, it it's a little bit noisy, and it's because uh, the... Uh, when I printed this, I didn't have any cooling, so uh, that's why it doesn't look as good, but all that matters for this test is if it works, and it does work indeed. Uh, so if I would have been uh, using cooling, this would have looked better, but uh, I have some really cool prints to show you, such as this. Uh, this is a really cool rook that I printed at 0.1 millimeters, and uh, it looks outstanding. This filament is just it's phenomenal. I love this filament so much. I've only printed a few things and I, I fell in love with this filament. Here's another one. Uh, this is just a little bit bigger than this. Uh, and then I even have another one which is smaller than this one. So I have three of them and I just wanted to test the different sizes even though they're not that big. Uh, I just wanted to test them out a little bit. This one was at three uh, millimeters, this was at two millimeters, and then this was at one. Uh, so uh, then I also printed, of course, the 3D Benchy and here I have one made out of Hatchbox and then one made from Matter Hackers Pro PLA. Uh, and they're pretty much the same. I mean, I, I think this filament is like really good. It's it performs great. It looks great, and I I love it. I I'm gonna start getting this filament. Uh, it this filament is amazing. You you guys need to get this filament. It it's crazy. Um. So then I also have an owl. I always print this. Uh. So this came out really well. And then this is like a cool little dinosaur that I printed. Here I'll show you low poly dinosaur. It did have a little bit of trouble on the overhang as you can see, but otherwise everything looks pretty cool and good. Um, here I'll show you a close up right now. And then um, also I printed out, this is new, but I'm gonna start printing this out. It is a little uh, cylinder from like an engine. So uh, this is really cool and uh, it works well, it prints well, it looks cool. As you can see, I can't do it this way though because this always falls off. Um, but it, it looks really cool, it works, and it's, it's really... This filament, I'm telling you, it's my new favorite filament. I'm gonna start buying this filament now. 
and recommending it to you guys because this stuff this is amazing it's like beyond anything i've ever tried before um unless any of you guys have another filament that you think is better than this then just uh tell me in the comments below and i'll see if i can get my hands on it and i'll maybe i'll do a little comparison but so far this is amazing stuff and i highly recommend it to anyone who's just starting 3d printing it's been 3d printing for a while uh just anyone in general who has a 3d printer because this filament it's amazing and uh you get the most out of this for your money and that's that's what matters it works really well so now i have some giant prints well not giant prints but some much larger prints that i'm going to show you right now so i will show you that right now all right guys so here we have my flash forge creator pro and uh in some videos i think i've showed you guys that i have these bins right here and i just reprinted them with matter hacker uh pla and uh it turned out really well before they're like it was like all bad at the bottom, but now it's like sturdy, it looks amazing, as you can see. And uh, I, I think it's really cool. So now I have two new ones, and then also I'm trying something new. This is a little bracket, and uh, I just actually finished printing this. And I am, oops, I'm going to try to mount this fan to it and uh, get some more cooling and ventilation in here and just airflow. And uh, I'll see if that works, and here's the little clamp that kind of goes on the other end and uh, yeah this I'm telling you guys this is my new favorite filament this prints really well as you can see like look at this it's this is an amazing print there's barely any edge curl uh, and layer adhesion is just amazing so overall um, I'm gonna have to recommend this filament to you guys because this stuff is amazing it's it's better than Hatchbox filament. I love this filament so much, and I highly recommend it to anyone who's just 3D printing things in general. So uh, make sure to get some of this filament, guys. I'll have a link down below where you can, uh, to their website. And uh, yeah, uh, stick around for more videos, more reviews. Hopefully next week I will be re uh, viewing uh, Protopasta's carbon fiber filament. And stay tuned for more videos. Subscribe if you're new, like it, the video if you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.